Mizzou's hunt for a New Year's Six Bowl game is still alive. The final, the final home game for the Tigers, football seniors, was a memorable one. That group of 27 got carried off the field with the joy of a thrilling last second come from behind win and got to hear, of course, the roar of 62,000 plus fans one last time. ABC 17 Kyle Helms was there for all the action, has more on how this senior class stepped up in some of the game's biggest moments. What a wild senior night. Mizzou and Florida were locked in a four quarter battle packed with big moments and raw emotion. Brady Cook and company had to put together a signature last minute drive to win it, and it was only fitting that a senior delivered the game winner. The kicker, kicker, Harrison Mevis. Harrison Mevis has been here before. Y'all call him thicker kicker, I call him Money Mevis. Two months ago, he hit a game winner against K State. So just keeping my head down and uh, making good contact. Two months later, Money Mevis did it again. Just wanted to win for this team, you know. Um, so I just wanted to help my team win, and that's, that's where my focus was. It doesn't really matter if it's 60 yards, if it's a PAT. But a lot led up to that moment. The seniors supplied big moments on senior night. Cody Schrader's early house call highlighted his seventh 100-yard game this season. I think it was just an extremely uh, special moment, man. I had friends, family, old coaches, stuff on the sidelines after the game, too. Theo East tiptoed his way to a 77-yard TD, giving Mizzou a two-score lead. To score to go up nine, I really felt like, you know, that might have been the dagger to put them away. But Florida made the Tigers earn it. Our team always fights back. They believe in each other. Fourth and 17, down a point. I, I was pretty calm on the sideline. Like, I kind of had a a feeling like we're going to be fine, guys. Well, Brady gives me a lot of belief, and I know our players believe in him, too. A junior to sophomore connection sparked the game-winning drive. Hey, big-time players make big-time plays in big-time games. Part of a night where Luther Burden eclipsed 1,000 receiving yards. This program means a lot to Mizzou's 27 seniors. Me being here five years, uh, being with so many different coaches and so many teammates and relationships that have had a positive impact in my life, and I thought the best way to honor it was put Mizzou on the back of my jersey. Though the seniors' legacy is still being written. As long as I want my younger teammates to understand that we were leaders and we wanted the best for them at all times and just setting the standard for them going forward of these are the expectations of how many games we should win and stuff like that, that's how I know if my our senior class legacy will be cemented. Mevis and his class got a perfect farewell at Faro. I'm just blessed to be a part of this team. Um, blessed to be a part of this win tonight. Um, it, it just means everything. You could not have wrote a better script for this senior send-off, but the job's not finished. Mizzou has a short week to prepare for a 3 p.m. kickoff on Friday in Fayetteville against battle line rival Arkansas. But for now, reporting at Faro Field, Kyle Helms, ABC 17 Sports. Well, like Kyle said, the seniors rightfully so in the spotlight last night. But I'll tell you, this guy showed some elite athleticism on his way to a career night. Freshman, true freshman, by the way, Brett Norfleet put on a show against Florida, setting a new career high in receiving yards. He hurdled a man. Look at this. He's got some hops and would have scored a big touchdown if it wasn't called back due to a penalty, but his presence was felt in more than just the passing game. QB1 Brady Cook says Norfleet is, is an exceptional run blocker. Both Cook and head coach Eli Drinkwitz had some pretty high praise for a very talented freshman. I can't say enough about Brett. Uh, um, you know, the kid's a freshman. Uh, he shows up to work every day. You know, he's, he's playing through, uh, you know, little dings and little injuries. Uh, he's tough. Uh, he's effective in the run game. You know, he's going against seniors. He's making plays. He hurdled somebody today. He's a dude. If he's not an all-SEC freshman, a freshman All-American, I don't know what people are watching. Sucker's a true freshman going out there and dominating people. Well, Mizzou and Arkansas are going to close out the regular season by writing another chapter of the battle line rivalry. Kickoff scheduled for 3 p.m. on Black Friday down in Fayetteville as the Tigers are going to look to claim their first 10-win season since 2014.